my name's Fern Hames. I'm kind of known as the Fish Lady, but my actual title is the Murray-Darling Basin Authority Native Fish Strategy Coordinator for Victoria, which is a crazily long title, so people call me the Fish Lady. And what I'm really interested in is the fact that we've lost a lot of our native fish. Back when Burke and Wills came through this country, there were a lot of native fish throughout our systems. We now think we're down to about 10% of what was here when Burke and Wills came through. So we're trying to get those populations back up to about 60% of what they were then. Now some fish have suffered more than others in those years. And I want to tell you about a couple of those and about some of the things that have happened for native fish in these systems. The first one I want to tell you about is silver perch. Now, they don't look exactly like this, <laughs> but this is our idea of our toy friend silver perch. And they are about this size. They are a silvery colour. And right here in Kerrang is pretty much the hotspot for silver perch in the world. They're threatened everywhere else because silver perch really like to move around. They like to move up and down rivers to breed. And in a lot of our rivers, we've got dams and weirs, but they can't do that. In this part of the river, we've actually got a nice big long stretch and they can move around a bit. And silver perch are going okay here. So if you want to see a silver perch, this is where you find them. When we commissioned the fishway here just a few months ago, we caught one kind of fish in there, little silver perch, which was fantastic. Another fish I want to tell you about, oh, this one, big fish. This one's called the Murray Cod. This is an icon species for the Murray-Darling system. This is the top predator in the system. This is, a, this is a fish that is an ambush predator. It'll hang around in the rivers in under a snag or under some rocks and it'll jump out and catch little fish going past. Some people say that our system is a system of lazy rivers and energetic fish. They all like to swim a long way and sometimes they leap out and catch a little fish. This is a big fish. This fish can get to 1.4, more 1.2, depends. We get different varies, different varying ideas, meters long. That's a big fish. And we know they can get to 48 years old, perhaps older, but the one that we've aged was at 48 years old. So these are the big fish. These are the top order apex predator of the system. And they're not doing very well all over the system. There are some parts of the Murray-Darling Basin where they're going okay, but there are plenty of places where Murray cod are in decline. And we're doing a lot of things to try and support that. One of the problems for native fish is fish like this one. This is a carp. And if you've hung around in any of the rivers in the Murray-Darling Basin, you've probably seen this guy. Carp forage around in the substrate and they disturb the substrate, the, the bottom of our rivers. They make it turbid. They eat native vegetation that's in the rivers. And they can be a real problem. They can also, in that foraging, eat some of our native fish eggs. There are lots of them in the system. And you might have noticed, if you've ever been at a weir or a dam on one of our rivers, you might see fish jumping trying to get up over the weir, that'll be carp. Carp can jump 1.8 metres high, which is a lot taller than me, and uh, they're pretty good at jumping. Native fish never do that. Native fish never jump, only carp. And that's actually given us a really good tool to try and get carp out of the rivers because we've put special traps in at some of the weirs that sort the fish out based on that jumping capacity. So carp jump into the trap, Native fish don't, and we can pull the carp out. So that's giving us a really good tool to try and manage carp in our rivers. This is a little fish. It's called a weather loach, and we find them around here quite a lot. Weather loach are not a native fish. They're like the carp, they're an introduced fish, and they're starting to become a bit of a problem. More and more and more weather loach in the, in the system. I wanted to show you this one and the Murray cod to show you that there's all kind of fish in our rivers. We've got big ones like the Murray Cod, we've got little ones like this, and there are some native fish that are really, really tiny. But they all have different requirements. They all live in our rivers. When they're under the water, it's hard to see them. It's hard to sort of remember the needs for native fish, but 
This one, keep an eye out for it. It looks a bit like a catfish, but it's not a catfish. If you find a weather loach, take them out. They're not very good. So that's all the fish that I've got to show you today. Um, I hope that you'll go down to a river near your place and enjoy just being by the river. And if you're lucky, you might see a native fish. That'd be great.